Hey everyone, so uh, last time we, you guys saw me do these twists and now today is officially wash day. I still have these in here, so I'm going to take these down. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a clay rinse or if I wanted to do like a regular uh, shampoo, but we're going to figure it out. Let go. Okay, so this is how much hair I had. This is how much I lost from having my full locks in for two months. All of the dirt, um, a little bit of the um, the fairy knots and stuff that I clipped or whatever, my ends, and this is my shed hair. So this is really not bad for how much hair I actually have on my head. But uh, after the shampoo, we'll see how much I, I'll have as well. But it really shouldn't be that much because I made sure that I detangled my hair. Did you all catch my last video where I took down my faux locks? If so, then you know that this hairstyle is from that. My Bantu knots have been in for about two days. And as you can see, I'm working with gloves because I have on fake nails. And that's not really my vibe for, you know, doing hair. But that's where we are. So if you catch my natural hair videos, every video, the name of the game is detangle. So that's what I'm doing. I am making sure even though my knots were detangled, I'm just making sure I'm extra detangling. This is the clay mask that I'm gonna be, um, well actually the clay cleanse that I'm gonna be using. And my hair needs to be 100% detangled because once I put the clay on my hair, it's going to, uh, my hair is gonna take, it's gonna, um, it's gonna curl. So, I make sure my hair is extra hydrated. That's the name of the game. When you're dealing with clay, you wanna make sure your hair is hydrated. Regular shampoo, I start with my roots. I don't worry about my hair. Conditioner, I only put conditioner on my hair. I don't touch my, my scalp. So with the clay mask, you can put the clay on your scalp as well as your hair, but just make sure it's detangled before you put the clay on because once the clay goes on, you cannot comb through your hair. And as you can see, I'm starting with the clay and already my curls are starting to come out. They're clumping, they're just looking amazing. This is definitely a process, y'all. Dealing with the clay, you want to make sure you go in small sections. And as I said, make sure your hair is fully detangled each section before you go in with the water and the clay so that you don't have to deal with the detangling process again. And um, yeah, so after I put the clay in one section, I reband to it up just to keep it separated. Now, I've never done this before, put the clay on my scalp, but I figured, you know, maybe it would speed up the process. Total fail, do not do this. Don't do this at all because what happened was I was unable to fully detangle the hair because it had the clay on it and it's hard to comb through clay. So yeah, I winded up, you guys will see, just keep watching. But um, yeah, the more the clay is on my hair, the more I can't uh, detangle it. So yeah, don't do that.
that's just me at looking at, you know, my hair, my definition. Do not be afraid of water. As you can see, I applied clay to my forehead. Um, you can apply clay to your face, any blemishes, uh, breakouts you have. Clay is great, especially my, my formula because I actually have peppermint oil and a whole bunch of other things in there that are great for the skin. Do y'all see that definition? Look at that. I, oh my gosh, my curls are popping. But anyway, I'm applying the clay the same way we used to apply the um, the perms back in the day. Just go in one direction because you see now I'm in the shower. It's same thing. Go one direction. I was scrubbing my scalp. I was definitely scrubbing the hair. And I spent like maybe an hour and a half in the shower just like scrubbing and making sure I rinsed all of the clay out. Don't be afraid to get in there and scrub. Can y'all see the definition after the clay? I rinsed the clay out. Like my curls are doing everything they're supposed to do. And I am my hair loves water, so I constantly keep uh, you know dousing it in water throughout the whole process. out i decided to go in with the manuka honey and mafira oil uh, hydration deep conditioner from shea moisture so i put this in um as you can see i'm just going through i'm i'm parting my hair with my hands it was a little difficult because i was trying to do it at an angle to where you know the camera could pick it up and you know the hair was just all in the way and of course i didn't bring any ponytail holders or any clips i forgot them and i didn't feel like getting out to get them so right now i'm just redousing my hair now i only use hot water you know well really warm to hot water um when doing my hair because cold water is gonna close up my hair shaft and that's not my goal my goal is to open it up so i have to apply the deep conditioner while i'm actually in the shower or sometimes if I do it out of the shower, I keep really hot water inside of a cup and just dip my hair inside of it. Um, my hair tends to, if I put the product on and there's no, you know, my hair is not super wet and it's not warm, 
the product will just sit on my hair. So I can leave the deep conditioner on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, come back, and it looks like it, it, you know, it's sitting inside the jar still. It looks fresh. It hasn't penetrated or anything. So right now, as you guys can see, like my hair just grew five inches just from elongating it. My shrinkage is no joke. Yeah, shrinkage gang around here. Right now, I'm just sectioning it off with my hands. And I'm applying the deep conditioner. Like I said, I say I douse each section with hot water, well, warm water, and then I go in with the deep conditioner. Smooth it in, make sure it gets all the way in. I do not put it on my scalp. I did get a little more on my scalp than I like to, but it's okay. And then I just bantu knot it up to keep it separated. <laughs> twist I managed to keep my nails and my hair kept getting snagged which I hated but whatever so it's washed now the conditioners in it I'm about to put this head wrap on and leave this on for about an hour actually I have two actually I have two head wraps that I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on this one and another one just so I can keep the heat in and then we'll be back okay so it is officially like two three hours later I wind up having to do something <sighs> my hair is still up as you can see, it's starting to dry now. So, yeah, this part is still wet, definitely, but just the uh, my roots are a little dry. So we're gonna go ahead and wash this stuff out right now. So just as I had suspected, I did leave my um, my shit, my conditioner in for too long, and the way I could tell was because when I rinsed my hair out, I had an elongated curl pattern. So had I left it in for another hour or two, my hair would have became very stringy, and you know it would have became uh, weaker. So if you have hair like mine, watch the moisture products. You do not need to leave them in for an excess excess amount of time because it's just going to damage your hair or leave your hair open to damage. Uh, an elongated curl pattern is not a bad. Thing. Thing. if you have a tighter curl pattern and you you know you don't mind that it just makes it a little easier to comb through and a little bit more manageable I on the other hand don't really want an elongated curl pattern because when my hair dries it will dry straighter than what it is when it's wet so for it to already start to be stretched out I don't really love that but my own fault because I should have washed the conditioner out so yeah if you have hair like mine uh, you don't really need pro extra protein products and you don't need extra moisture products just kind of stick to regular products wash your hair you know whatever schedule you do and uh, yeah if your hair winds up getting mushy or it winds up being stringy you probably have too much moisture and you don't need to add extra heat when deep conditioning <laughs>
once again, I'm going in the same direction. I never really tangle my hair, therefore it doesn't really take a lot to detangle it. And then once I finish rinsing out my deep conditioner, once again, I'm also using warm water. I'm still using warm water. I bantu knot it up and then I do not dry my hair. I don't use a towel. I don't use t-shirts. I don't use anything. My hair loves water. So after I rinse it with the warm water, I just kind of, uh, maybe sometimes I'll put a bag on it to keep it wet and keep it warm. And then once I get out, I use styling products on really damp hair and I keep a mister with warm water inside of that as well and then once I put the oil on to seal everything in all the moisture everything uh it'll just air dry okay this was with the faux locks my shed hair this was after my shampoo what my shed hair looked like and this was after my conditioner this is all that these were what was in the comb so all together, that's how much hair I lost. So me detangling while it was dry was definitely a smart move because as you can see, once I shampooed my hair, this is all I came out with. And then just now I conditioned it and this is what was in my comb. So just a few pieces. So not bad. So that is it for my wash routine. As y'all can see, the fingernails came off. Um, after my deep conditioning, um, <laughs> they were actually, um, a few of them were kind of, were like lifting. So that was the perfect opportunity. I was just like, okay, I'm taking them off because I was tired of them anyway. They've been on for a whole month. I love them, but I just get bored with colors. So if anyone has any questions about my wash routine, that's just with the clay. With the, uh, shampoo and conditioner is a little bit different, but, uh, I'll do a video about that. Like right now I'm about to go... Um, protective style right now it's in five knots the same five knots from the shower I just put this on because I'm kind of leaking all over the place I'm still you know you see I'm wet but it's all good guys make sure you guys thumbs me up subscribe to my channel yay uh, hit the blue bell for notifications comment down below and share with so you all have a great one and I'm done this hair is finally washed and I'm so happy about it